What is going on everybody? T-Bone coming back at you again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing. And as you can see by the tape, we have another product here by Gemtech. That's right, we finally got another deck box in. Um, I can't wait to see this thing. Even though I'm not a huge fan of the actual franchise, this thing looked sick. And I had to pick it up. But before we open this box, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, notification bell, all that good YouTube stuff. Again, help build the channel grow so I can keep getting awesome things like this to show you guys. So yeah, I, I don't want to wait anymore because, uh, you know, as per usual with gem tech stuff, you do have to wait a little bit, but it's usually well worth it in the end. Hopefully I didn't just scratch that. I did not. Okay, perfect. So... As you can see here, we have the Gem Tech or Deck Tech Titans. That's right. We have the Titan Deck Box. So there's the back of the box for you, just so you can see that. You know, nothing really too, too crazy there. Let's carefully cut this seal open. Okay, there we go. Trying to make sure I don't cut into the box. Come on. There we go. All right, already feeling it. It feels like the Baphomet box. It has that same like non-slip texture to it. And I don't mind that. It's, it is a little bizarre feeling at first. If you're not used to it, but it is very nice. It's a very nice color green, actually. So as you can see on the front, uh, the front's not too, too crazy. This is all embossed in. Got their logo right there. Then you got Hollywood. With Godzilla and the skyscrapers and helicopters. And as per normal, it always comes with the tissue paper. Move that out of the way. And okay, here is the divider before we get into the actual design. So the back of the divider is black. And oh, it's Japanese. Okay. Don't know what that actually means, but if someone can read Japanese, again, comment down below. Let me know what that says. So you got your main compartment here for all your cards, you know, main deck and extra deck. Then you got another one here for like your side deck. And per usual, you also get the magnetic dice tray. So this is magnetic. There is a magnet here, I believe. I'm not mistaken, I actually... Okay, no, it's actually down here. Got the magnet down here and right there. And there is your dice tray. So just to throw some dice in here, so you can see what that looks like. And keep in mind, these are the... Yu-Gi-Oh dice, so these are a little bit bigger than standard, so if you do have regular standard dice, you can probably fit a fourth row in. So there's not that much wiggle room here, but that's 12 dice, so you're really not going to need that. And I actually don't know if a card would fit. Actually, it looks like cards can fit in here, too. So you don't even have to use this as a dice tray. You can even use it for, like, other things, which is cool. But then again, that flips up. The real reason that you're watching is for this, and this is absolutely ins insane looking. I'm going to try and get a good shot of it. It's a little difficult because, again, it's black on black. So it looks like you got Mothra at the top. Let's try it like this. 
Okay, you got Mothra. Uh, I forgot that dude's name. I honestly, again, I'm not really huge into Godzilla, but the art on this is just, the art itself is worth it for me. Again, it's a little difficult to pick up because black on black, but hopefully you guys can still somewhat see it. Okay, that's actually a really good angle right there for the whole thing. If I can angle it this way to show you guys. And not really. Again, apologize for that, but you can do what you can do, right? So that looks absolutely insane. So yeah, the flat is... You know, it's obviously a flat black, the whole, and it's matte. And then the actual image itself is kind of like a glossy, like it's a little slicker. And you can probably tell that just by looking at it. And that is just absolutely gorgeous. And then just to show you what a deck would look like in here. This is a 41 card main deck that is double sleeved with Dragon Shield inners and Dragon Shield uh, mat as the exterior, and then a 15 card extra, same way. And as you can see, there's still room to spare in there. I think these can hold up to 100. In this side, it just says a total of 150 on it, but I believe this can probably fit about maybe 70 in here and then like 30 in here. That would make that would make a lot of sense so if we take the extra deck. Yeah, so I would say 70 double sleeved in here and 30 in here. So if you're in a double sleeving, you have plenty of space to work with. And then like all the gem tech boxes, they are magnetically, they have a magnet, uh, magnet over here. And just to do the test. This is pretty much what would happen in your bag if you're like really roughing with your bag. Like, I'm actually not scared to do it to the cards because, you know, they're double-sleeved and everything. But you can see I'm, like, really... I'm, like, really shaking and it hasn't even budged. So, again, you are well protected in that case. And then, again, when you just want to open it, it's really easy. Opens out. Same thing with this. This is also magnetic. Yeah. I mean, there's really not much more to say on this. This thing is absolutely gorgeous, though. Again, not huge on Godzilla, but the artwork itself sold me. Almost kind of like the Mother... Uh, not the Mother Mary. The... Um, I think it's the Relia. There's a video for it on my channel somewhere as well. Uh, where it's not really my style, but the art is just gorgeous. So yeah, I mean, I really don't know what more to say on it. It is a very beautiful box. Um, these are sold out. If you can find these for a price that you feel is good, I would recommend picking them up. Gemtech always has really good quality. It's very sturdy. And their stuff is normally... It's normally limited. This hasn't been released for over a year, I think. So they had an original run and then they rewaved it. I don't know if there's any differences between this one and the old one. If there is, again, let me know if you have the old one. So this way, you know, everyone else can know if they're buying the original or a rewave. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, again, if you did, hit that like button, subscribe, notification bell, all that good YouTube stuff. Help build the channel grow so I can keep getting awesome, cool things like this to show you guys. 
So that's going to do it for this one. So until next time, I will see you guys later.